What is going on? Pat and Fonte back with another video. And um, today, you know, I wanted to make a video because somebody had sent me a, a DM on Instagram, a question about what's the first step? Where do they start? Do they just start eating healthier and, and moving more essentially? And, and to some extent, yes, that would be the simple minded answer. Um, especially if you have a lot of weight to lose, that will start to move the scale um, for sure, right? But there is a much more efficient way of doing it that, that has sustainable um, success, especially if somebody maybe is not extremely obese, but, but has less weight that they're looking to, to lose. Maybe somebody wants to go from 15% body fat down to 10% body fat. Maybe somebody that fell off the wagon, maybe somebody that was on a diet that started to, to stall and lose progress. And the truth is, it's really just, it's a big game of math. Um, and really the first step to do, what I would say is um, to collect three data points. Um, first being your weight. Now your weight's gonna fluctuate day to day just based on water weight and things like that. From a day to day standpoint, the scale is an awful modality to track fat loss, right? Um, but what I would do is I would start by weighing myself for seven days straight and taking the average of that weight and having a good average seven day uh, starting point. From there, what I would do is, is I would, there's two tools that everybody should have if they're serious about making a change and losing weight. And to be honest with you, one is a simple Fitbit. I have used this for about seven years. I don't wear it around my wrist or anything. It's simply in a clip. I clip it inside my pocket. I walk around and ultimately it does two things. One, is obviously it, it tracks your steps. So you have an idea of, of your activity level. And then two is it, it logs your food. And obviously for that, you use a simple food scale. Um, granted, there could be times when you're at weddings or restaurants, things like that. But, but even if you estimate um, what you're eating in the app, um, you get a pretty good idea. And what I would do is again, take a rolling seven day average of my steps and my caloric intake as a starting point. For the first week or two weeks, if I was gonna make a change for the long term, I would say change nothing with your exercise and diet. I know you're motivated, you wanna get started, but let's get a baseline as to where, where you are. Um, once you have seven days worth of your weight, seven days worth of your activity level, and seven days worth of your caloric intake, from there I would say drop your calories 15%, add 20% to, to, to your average steps per day, and then see if your average weight starts to go down. And if it does, I would just keep riding that out um, as long as you can. Now, I would try to keep your protein intake as high as possible because you don't wanna lose muscle mass. So I would say, whatever your weight is, try to get one gram per pound of, of protein. As far as carbs and fat, um, it's not that important, important in the beginning at least. But that would ultimately be your starting point. Get a baseline. For one to two weeks, change nothing in your routine or your diet. Use your Fitbit to track your steps. Set up a spreadsheet. Seven days of steps, seven days of calories, which is very easy to, to track in the Fitbit app. And um, seven days of your weight. And then from there, like I said, just make those small changes and keep those changes intact until there becomes a stall. Then there becomes a stall, you have two places to go again. Up your activity level or drop your calories. Um, and really, that's as simple as it is. I mean, it, it will power wise, it, 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 there's difficulties, but from a mathematical standpoint on how to lose weight and get in better shape, um, it's literally that simple. The Fitbit and the food scale are the two most important tools to a fat loss journey, to be quite honest with you. So I wanted to come on, give you that little tip, which, um, you know, like I said, it's an excellent starting point and really, I've been doing that for seven years now, ever since I started using a Fitbit. And I can tell you that, that, that it works. And having those data points are huge. You're not just blindly throwing darts. You know exactly what you have to do um, in order to lose weight at that point, just based on simple math. I will be posting an article online about how to get to 10% body fat and maintain it, which goes into more detail of what I'm talking about and even takes it further and has more examples. Um, but Subscribe below, um, anything, like I said, any questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe below, www.eatforabs.com. Pat Infante, signing off.